Mitsubishi Heavy Industries shows the current situation of manufacturing ITER toroidal field coils. Toroidal field coils are manufactured by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and Mitsubishi Electric at the Kobe plant and Futami plant of the Nuclear Energy Systems Division of Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. A toroidal field coil is 16 meters high and 10 meters wide, weighing 300 tons. It consists of seven radio plates and coil cases. Let's look at the manufacturing processes in order. A spooled conductor is straightened, then bent into a D-shape in a temperature-controlled room. Accuracy of conductor length after winding is under 100 ppm, plus or minus 3 millimeters against 30 meters. After winding, it's heat treated in a vacuum furnace at 650 degrees Celsius. The radial plate has grooves on both sides that fit the wound superconductor. The plate is assembled from 10 forging plates. Ninety percent of the groove processing is done before assembly. Experts in several fields work together to optimize the machining process. They keep the flatness and dimension tolerance. After groove processing, 10 segments are welded into four sectors, then into a D shape. The welding thickness is 110 millimeters. We apply laser beam and TIG welding. The laser beam power is 30 kilowatts and the welding thickness is 50 millimeters on both sides. The remaining 30 millimeters on both sides are welded by automatic TIG from above and below simultaneously. The company is proud of its upward TIG welding technique. This is the final machining area. Two special machines are used to groove process the four welding portions. Two portions are machined at a time. Then the machines are moved to the remaining portions. After processing the upper side, the radio plate is turned over. The radio plate is protected by large fixing jigs. Their total combined weight is 60 tons. Turning over the plate takes hours. New welding technology is applied to reduce this. Manufacturing radial plates requires tight tolerances, just one millimeter in flatness and a few millimeters in profile. To measure the radial plate, a laser tracker and T-probe are used. The tip of the T-probe sensor is attached and traced along the radial plate to instantly obtain one one thousandth millimeter XYZ coordinate data. Next is the transfer. The superconductor must be placed into the radial plate groove. The radial plate is inserted between the expanded double pancake superconductor. After insertion, the superconductor slots into the groove. After transfer, part of the superconductor is raised from the groove and wrapped with insulation tape, quench detection tape, and glass cloth tape. The taping devices follow the D shape.
After insulation, the groove is covered with cover plate and tack welding. To fix the conductor to the radial plate, the cover plates are welded by laser beam welding. An image processing technique is used to sense the gap of approximately 0.3 millimeters between the cover plate and radial plate. This technique accurately controls the manipulator to weld the gap. The superconductor, radial plate, and cover plate are insulated and impregnated, then stacked into seven layers. This is called a winding pack, which is then assembled with a coil case. Coil cases are very thick, ranging between 60 to 400 millimeters. The deepest weld is over 300 millimeters. After initial layer welding, automatic TIG is applied to the main body welding. At the same time, the lower side is welded by manual TIG. Welding procedure is optimized to control distortion. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries has various milling machines. This is a medium-sized miller with a table size of approximately 5 meters. The bevel of a coil case segment is being machined. Now, coil case segments are produced in series. A coil case is finally assembled from three segments. The welding between segments is done manually. Finally, the coil case reaches 16 meters long and weighs 70 tons. For non-destructive welding inspections, a powerful Linac device is used to shoot dozens of films in a few days. This is a large shielding room for LINAC inspections. This is one of the world's largest milling machines. A coil case sub-assembly called AP is undergoing final machining. Winding pack is inserted into a coil case sub assembly. Then the case is welded and final machined. Despite being 10 meters long, coil cases are fitted with gaps of under a millimeter. Welding distortion control allows cases to be assembled with millimeter order tolerance. Final machining finishes them with sub millimeter order tolerance. The closure welding process is being planned, with a mock-up test and computer simulation currently underway. The first toroidal field coil will be delivered to the ITER site in 2018. Everyone at Mitsubishi Heavy Industries is focused on achieving required structural integrity until all of the toroidal field coils have been delivered. <laughs>